timing is really. So I'm Andrew Saul, the co-founder and CEO of Genovation Cars, Inc. So we're here at the Johnny Bomber Proving Grounds at the Kennedy Space Center. We're using the Space Shuttle Runway, which is 3.2 miles long and 1,000 feet wide, to do high-speed testing for aerodynamics and stability. We are at the Johnny Bomber Proving Grounds at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We're on the flattest, longest, widest piece of concrete in the world. Now, people come from all over the world to use this piece of concrete, and that's why Genovation's here, to get the data that they need to retrieve for their car. Well, principally, it was a development project for this week, two total three days, and the icing on the cake is a world land speed record if we achieve it. I think the goals from Genovation were originally what they're trying to do is build the safest, fastest car they can build. And they come out here and spend all their time and energy and money to make sure this car is safe. And at the same time, they're trying to set some world records because they're at the top of the heap. It's the fastest electric car in the world. A lot of people claim a lot of other stuff. This car holds a Guinness world record. And if somebody doesn't like that, they got to go out and beat it. Well, guess what? Nobody's beating it. He's checking. In position, ready to go. Okay. Copy that. Rusty, are you ready? Timing is ready. All right. Ten four. Ready to go, Jack. I'm ready to send him. Watch. So we've made a lot of improvements to the vehicle over these past few test sessions. We've improved the cooling, the thermal capability of the vehicle has been enhanced considerably. We've improved the firmware for the vehicle, and uh, we've made a lot of improvements aerodynamically, and also suspension-wise. When you're at a high speed, the DSC system knows the steering wheel angle, it knows the G-forces and how fast you're going, and so it will stiffen the outside suspension when you're in a corner. And if you're at a high speed and you hit the brakes very hard, it keeps the front from diving. And it also gives you excellent launch control. We've got the people who have been in the automotive industry and the development and engineering and design side all their lives. And then we've got some of the younger guys which are principally involved in the, the software development side of things. So yeah, that to have a complete team of, of all the different skills and disciplines is very important. Andrew is one of these guys that doesn't take no for an answer, and he just keeps on digging. To compete and, and run and do the stuff he's doing faster than guys with billions of dollars at their resources, at their fingertips, uh, he has achieved uh, incredible goals. The intent long term is to produce a whole vehicle of our own. Without hundreds of millions of dollars to spend, we have to focus our energies and our resources on what is truly important in this case. Uh, the major OEMs obviously have a lot of resources, a lot of engineering talent, etc., to progress this technology, but they're also somewhat hidebound within their own organizations. So I think a small, agile, innovative organization like Genovation can really push the envelope and make those guys think. A lot of companies can build an electric powered car now, but building one with the best components that have worked together is going to be the key to the future.
The Genovation car is a gentleman of a car to drive. It handles well, it shifts well, it's rock solid up top. I can't wait to get the drag strip. I know it's gonna run low tens in the quarter. They've checked all the boxes. It takes a really highly motivated and capable team to build a vehicle like this, to set these records. I'm so proud to be a part of that team and to be working with these great engineers and scientific minds. So over the next five years, Genovation is going to continue to push the state of the art, developing new technologies, better thermal management system, better charging technologies, better inverter technology. And so I think this is really just the very beginning, and you're going to see some great things coming out of Genovation in the coming years.